Okay. Hi study buddies, today we are going to be doing a back to school haul and I've shown some of these products in my previous videos when I went back to school, backpack hunting and also my Target shopping haul so you might have seen those in my previous videos but I wanted to do a haul to explain my experience with them, if I liked them, if I ended up not liking them so I think the first thing I should show you for back to school is Okay, yeah, so I got these glasses for like 25 bucks. Um, they were really nice. I don't know the brand, but these frames are like kind of popular like nowadays and I just really like the fit on them. I wish they were a little bit bigger because I do have like a round face. So like only bigger glasses look good on me, like tiny glasses look horrible on me and I've tried. So the next few things, my sister got me this from New York. I don't know where she got it, but it seems like it's Japanese stationery. It's from this brand called The Willow Story and it's just this really nice cactus print which I really love. The next thing I got was actually for a bargain because this is normally 18 euros and I got this from Herod's which is this really fancy London mall type S thingy and they had like a moleskin thing and this was actually ripped out so they gave me it for 50% off so I only bought it for eight pounds and this is just this really nice ruled notebook and I can't wait to use this in college. I also got some books for my college experience because I do want to read some books throughout school. So I got this first one is called Hey Ladies by Michelle. Oh, it's two authors. I didn't even know that. Michelle and Caroline. I've actually read a, a bit of it and it's pretty interesting. I haven't read a lot. It's basically like this collection of emails and text messages and all that kind of stuff. So it's more of a immersive experience if that makes any sense but i do really like this book it was for 15 dollars, so kind of expensive the other book i got from target if you saw my previous video i did a target back to school shopping video and i got this really nice book it's when life gives you lululemons this is the sequel to devil wars prada or like the sequel i think this is more fiction than devil wars prada which was more like fictional characters but a real life story if that makes sense so i guess this book is more um fictional i haven't read it at all but i'm pretty excited because i do really love um devil wars prada i love the movie i love the book so i'm really excited to read this actually let's look what the hardcover looks like oh it's this really nice yellow um matte yellow print and then there's some red foil it's really nice quality so the next few items I got were from Daiso. These are friction pens and friction pens actually came to Daiso. They're coming to Target. They're going to probably Walmart very soon. I really love these. These are the erasable clicker friction pens from Pilot, I guess. Yeah, from Pilot. I got one in black and one in blue and I also got a marker that's erasable. The next items I got were some Sabilo Boss highlighters and I actually, I got them in a four pack but I can't find the rest. These are really nice. They're like this kind. Uh, they're really popular on Instagram. So I wanted to try them out. Um, my opinion, they're really nice, but I wouldn't spend this much on highlighters. I do really recommend my liners. They're $5 for five of them or just get like regular Sharpie markers. The next item I got was from MoMA. MoMA is one of the like famous museums in New York and I actually didn't go to MoMA. I went to the MoMA design store which had so many cute items. I got this one from the MoMA design store and it's just this really nice textured sturdy pouch. Uh, so I really love that and I also got this one which is a really nice metal pen. <laughs> I just really love this a lot. The next item I got was from Muji. This is the Muji pen case which is really nice. I love it so much. And just opening up, I got some Muji pencils. I got two of them actually because I always lose these, so I need two of them. Those work so well. I also got this white um, in blue ink Muji pen, which is really nice. And then the last few items I got from Muji were one of the regular gel pens, which I love. If you guys know me on my Instagram, I love Muji pens. They're just really smooth they just work really well and the last thing i got from muji was this blue retractable hexagonal pen but the last thing i got was a pigma micron pen which is one of my favorite pens for bullet journaling they just work super well um love it so much some other things i got were 
um, some stickers. I got this one. It's from Strand Bookstore. It's less people, more cats. It's so cute. I'm planning to put it on my laptop. I think just having cute accessories on your things just make it personalized. And actually, the phone case that I have is very like... The phone case I bought recently is this. And it's just this really nice star faux leather texturized phone case. It's just really nice. I got it from ZGLA and I got it for 20% off. Um, the next few things I got were pouches and these pouches were $30 and I think $8 or $5, I can't remember. But this one is super nice. It matches my backpack really nicely. And you've seen this backpack before. It's my favorite Konkin color, which is this olive green color and it's just really nice. And it kind of matches because this is also green, dark green. And I just have one of my pins from my Etsy store on here. It just looks really nice. One thing that I love about it is the zipper. Do you hear that? It's just amazing. It's this plastic zipper. I hate metal zippers and usually backpacks have metal zippers except Kipling's and this is kind of like the Kipling of zipper. It's just amazing. I could do this all day. Uh, but I just have some towelettes. Um, I have a watch and then I also have a... This is my favorite scent. It's the sugar lemon from fresh scent. It's really nice, but it's so expensive. I like lemony scents. The perfume I sprayed on last time or the cologne I sprayed on last time is called Skin. Oh, oh my God, it's called Sun. I, I always thought it was called Skin, but it's Sun, which I think is more appropriate because it doesn't smell like skin. Wait. It smells like lemons. Lemons and sunshine. I guess that's a really appropriate name. Oh, it has lemon, it has orange oil, it has sandwood oil. I don't know what any of this is, but it's vegan. So it's also really nice. I got this in fresh. And I think just having little things makes your back to school experience more fun. I don't think back to school is necessarily just stationary and like notebooks and stuff. I think it's a lot of stuff, especially because I'm going to college very soon. I got a few items for my dorm. Um, I got this Ikea lamp, it's just super nice. I got this alarm clock um, from Amazon. I'll leave all the links down below if you want to get it. The next pouch is where I keep all my sketchbook stuff. And I got this from Strand Bookstore. It's just this really cute duct tape-esque pouch. <laughs> also, the brand for this bag is called Blue Q. It has this really cute kangaroo as its mascot. And I store all, all my sketchbook stuff, so I'm going to show that. I also got these from the Kino Kiwa... Oh, sure, sorry. I got this from the Kino Kiwa bookstore. Um, if you saw my vlog from like two, two videos ago, I got these um, Copic markers and also these brushables from there. Um, these were $4 each and these were $8 each, so pretty expensive stuff. But they're so worth it, especially if you do a lot of art, if you like creating art. I really recommend these. These are the Zig Brushables, which if you're more on a like a budget, even though they're kind of expensive, I would recommend these, especially for bullet journals. And I would recommend these if you're doing professional art, which I'm not doing, but I wanted those. So I keep all of these in here. I've been using them for about a month. I can't wait to use these in the near future. So the next item I got for back to school was actually a Fra Robin wallet because I actually never kept a wallet ever, which is really bad. Um, but I only have one card and also I have this thing I got from KCON. Um, so yeah, and I also keep um, some coins and also some cash. Yeah, but then I have these really cute uh, cat pins on here. It just reminds me of my cat, especially this one, the black and white one. It just reminds me so much of my cat. So I really love this wallet. It's super sturdy and yeah. So the next item I bought, which I haven't tried out, but I actually bought these like two months ago. Um, and then I bought another one, so this is the second pair I got. The first pair my sister stole from me, so it was so good that my sister stole it from me. And, and I didn't even realize it until I was back here, so I bought another one. These were about $80. They're normally $200 or $150, but there's like problems with the wiring that like transfer on your clothing, if that makes any sense, but they're still really good quality. So I got those. I can't wait to use these in college. This is like a workout. Oh, also, if you can see my wall back here, a lot of this stuff is stationary. I got from around the world. I got this one from London. I got this one from New York. Uh, I got this one from New York. I got this one from 
Paris. I got this one from New York, Venice, London, London. I just really love all the postcards I got from different places in the world and I just put them all up on my wall, which I really love. It like works as a really nice backdrop, so that's why I'm filming like this. Um, I also went to Paper Source in New York, which is one of my favorite stores to go to in the United States, mainly because they have a really nice selection of stationary products, which not a lot of like American stores have. I got this really nice Lakota plant stationery set. So there's letters and they just look really nice. So that's a letter. And then these are the envelopes back here. Okay, the next thing I got was this paper story notebook. It's filled with just really nice paper stuff. They have stickers, they have stickers, they have paper, they have paper, more paper, a lot of paper. They have cards with holographic stuff, you know? They have other cards too. It's just really nice. It's filled with so many stuff. And this is kind of expensive. I think they were around 17 euros, but it's really worth it. I love this so much. Also, I want to show you guys the laptop I got for back to school. This is the 15 inch MacBook Pro with a touch bar. It's really nice. I love it so much. Um, let's see if we'll turn on. I think I got the 256 gigabyte version, which I kind of regret because it's kind of too small for me. Uh, especially because I edit a lot. I might change it to the 13 inch MacBook touch bar 512 gigabyte version, but this one works really well. So I'm happy about that I guess that's it. I'm gonna just put everything in this backpack and sum up this video Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys give this a big thumbs up Let's reach mm, maybe around 4,000 likes or 5,000 likes? I don't know. But comment something down below when you guys start school and make sure you subscribe to this channel. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!